All right, you guys, so you want to check out how to create half tone with different shapes shifting here in After Effects. For the composition, I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080, 30 frame per second, rename it Final Comp, click OK. Let's go and select the rectangle, press and hold Shift, create a rectangle, something like this. Let's go and align it perfectly to the center and then make sure to click somewhere here to deselect the shape. And we're going to go back to the shape and I'm going to select the star tool and I'm going to create a star, align it to the center, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind. And from here, we're going to go to the layers, open up the poly star one, rectangle one, open it up. And here we get the rectangle path one, right click, convert to Bezier path. We're going to convert the poly star path one also to Bezier path. Let's open up the path one at both. And for example, I'm going to pull it to the first second. I'm going to go to the path one, activate the stopwatch at both. And I'm going to bring it to the 20th frame. For example, here, I'm going to select this key frame, press control C, and let's go click on this path at the poly star and press control V. So it's going to copy paste to the key frame right here. And I'm going to delete the square, press on delete. And as you can see, it is shifting the shape, but it's also moving into the corner. So I'm going to go back here at the first keyframe. Let's go to transform, activate the position. Let's go to the 20th frame, go to align, align it to the center. Let's go and select the path keyframes. I'm also going to select them all, right click on them, go to keyframe assist, select ease, ease. So this way is going to make it more smoother. You also can go to the graph editor here, select one of the paths, and I'm going to zoom in and drag the handle in. So if you go like this, it is going to go smooth. After we are done, we're going to right click on this layer, go to pre comp, rename it pattern, click OK. Let's go to effects and presets, search for Tyler, drag it on the pattern shape layer. And here I'm going to decrease the scale. In my situation, I'm going to go with 2.1 for 1080 by 1080 artboard size. The main point is to leave some space at the ending of the artboards. Now I'm going to drag and drop the footage, right click on the footage, pre-compose, rename it footage, and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Now let's go and uncheck the footage, right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer, right click rename, half tone. Go to effects and presets, search for card dance. Drag it and drop it on the half tone layer. Now here we're going to need to set up the row and the column numbers. And we're going to need to calculate the number of the stars here horizontally and vertically. So in my situation, I get like 49 horizontally and 49 vertically because it's a square. So I'm going to go here and type in 49 by 49. Let's go to the gradient layer, change it to footage. And we're going to open up the X scale and the Y scale and change up the source to intensity one, Y scale intensity one as well. And let's see what we got, hit play. And pretty much that's how I make this shape shifting half tone effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.